Hello, in this video I'm going to present you my dissertations project and master's program Algorithmic Trading at University of Essex. The goal of this project is to apply a deep learning technique on high frequency order book data, taking especially order deletions into account. As a typical machine learning problem, this project is split into three major parts. Understanding the data you're working with, processing the data in a way the machine can deal with it, and finally, train and evaluate your selected learning algorithm, in this case a deep convolutional neural network. The motivation behind this project includes almost two hypotheses. Firstly, the assumption that deep neural network structures are applicable to this specific type of financial data, as well as financial forecasting can profit from this novel branch of machine learning techniques. The assumptions are based on recent improvements deep learning was able to achieve in a wide area of difficult tasks like vision recognition or national language processing. However, there is almost no published research yet related to deep learning and financial forecasting. The second novelty in this project is considering order deletions as an important source of information. Order deletions are by far the most occurring events in electronic markets nowadays, but almost never included in forecasting tasks. To accomplish this project, the work was divided into three major parts. Since there is no ready-made dataset available, the whole rebuild process has to be done first. Therefore, as it was necessary to understand the order flow as well as the order book dynamics taking place in modern financial markets first. The gained knowledge is essential for designing meaningful and practical datasets that can finally be used to train the convolutional network. In the following, I am going to show you how I face these problems. A limit order book market determines the price by matching incoming buy and sell orders and so inducing trades respectively defining bid and ask prices. Market participants usually have two options to change the current order book stage. Either they are providing liquidity by adding limit orders into the order book market or taking liquidity by deleting previously submitted orders. Also instantly executed trades in consequence of submitted market orders taking liquidity out of the market. At that, the event flow describes a sequence in which these actions happen at the market and thus reproduces the dynamic at the market itself. Usually, the event flow is presented as a series of time sorted messages in form of incoming orders, deletions or trades. The interaction of all these events defines the current market at each point in time and hence is one of the most crucial and crude thoughts of market information. The availability of all events assigned to one particular trading instrument allows to rebuild the order book and thus to replicate the price building mechanism in detail. The reconstruction algorithm is following the rules of the exchange mainly queuing up the incoming orders and matching them against each other as well as including all remaining events. However, implementing this process is more challenging. This short animation shows how the order book changed over time and thus determined the best bid and ask price after each occurring event. As already mentioned, order cancellation is the most securing event in modern electronic markets with a ratio of up to 90% of all events. The two figures below illustrate this development over the last years. The left figure shows all incoming quotes with executed trades between 2006 and 2012 in US markets. It can easily be seen that there are much more incoming quotes than actual trades. That includes that almost all non-executed quotes have to be deleted or expired at some point. It is worth noting that this behavior spikes at extreme events. In the figure, the financial crisis in 2008, the flash crash in 2010 and the US downgrade in 2012 are marked. Additionally, the chart on the right side shows a wider picture presented at the order execution rate over a period from 1991 until 2011 taken from a variety of markets. Again, the trend seems to be clear. The reasons for that are manifold, however, one of the main causation can be seen in the development into fast electronic market and high frequency trading. Astonishing enough, deletions are rarely used as information source. Furthermore, recent research shows that deletions have a high impact on volatility and price due to liquidity withdrawal and thus inducing imbalances on the bid, respectively ask side of the order book. The task to build a deep learning training set can be seen as a typical big data practice. Fortunately, the LSE order book data set from economics department and University of Essex can be used. This data set includes the whole order flow recorded at London Stock Exchange between June 2007 and June 2008. 
The whole set consists of almost 5 billion events and comes in unsorted, comma-separated text files. Depending on compression rate and file format, the whole set has a size up to 500 gigabyte. To rebuild the daily books for a specific trading instrument, the data has to be sorted and stored in a proper database. With respect to the data size, the NoSQL database MongoDB was chosen. MongoDB is a database specialized on huge data set and has the advantage of very high performance while a fairly easy integration into a program. In contrast to traditional SQL database systems, so-called NoSQL systems are usually characterized through by far more efficient data handling and easy scalability. For that, a lot of typical database behavior like relations and joins are usually not easily available or max is necessary to implement those behavior on application level. For efficient data handling, a distributed and multi-threaded input structure was designed. This structure consists of a raw data layer, a processing and post-processing layer, as well as the final application layer. Under the assumption of cheap storage costs and but highly computational costs, the raw data were pre-processed into easy importable database chunks in JSON format first. That boosts the data size up to almost one terabyte but enables the import process itself to be multi-threaded and shrinks import time to a fraction. Because of the trade-off between fast data access and comfortable data handling, a post-processing step is necessary to connect diverse information. Only thus makes it possible to rebuild the order book accurately. Finally, the rebuild books can be used to set up the training set as well as for analysis purposes. Although the data handling for a single month is already implemented in a parallel approach, the rebuild process for all 13 months was also distributed over different nodes in a computer cluster. The independence of each month's information makes this possible. In collaboration with Biorobotics Lab of Freie Universität Berlin, the high-performance cluster Serban is used to handle this task. Serban consists of 113 single usable nodes and thus enables to process the data in a reasonable amount of time. As mentioned previously, deep learning architectures need a fairly amount of training data to have a chance to perform well. Because of more than 100,000 events can occur on a single day for a single instrument, it takes a couple of minutes to rebuild only one single book. However, at least a couple of thousand such books are necessary to build up a fairly training database. Without the use of a distributed approach, this has almost not been possible in a reasonable amount of time. For getting a better understanding of the dynamics happening in the order book on micro level and thus a better design of input data and network structure, a tool for exploring this information in depth was implemented. The program order book explorer enables one to skip through the whole development process on event level. The happened events are visualized in different form, including the event type in relation to the actual best bid and ask price, information about the lesions classified by duration, as well as volume of the event itself and the snapshot of the actual order book state. It is possible to skip through the process event by event and also to replay the development by selectable step size in an automate mode. The process can be stopped at each point in time, what makes it possible to explore different situations and behaviors in more detail. Implemented in MATLAB, a lot of nice features are easily usable, such as selecting single event groups, navigating within the plot, as well as zooming in and out into areas of interest. Finally, the tool allows for selecting a period to get detailed statistics about all the events happened within the selection. The order book explorer is an essential tool to understand in a detailed way what happened at the market and thus enables one to design a proper input for the final deep learning network. Under the term deep learning, a variety of different machine learning techniques are pooled together. All in common is a deep stack structure usually consisting of several layers. After more than a decade of questioning neural networks and giving other machine learning techniques priority, deep neural networks have seen a renaissance since 2007. The reasons for this success are manifold but almost driven by more and easier available labeled data as well as GPU acceleration. One of the major advantages of especially convolutional neural networks is the ability to extract useful information by its own. That makes it almost obsolete to handcraft the right input features. 
especially in problems where it's difficult to find right features due to poorly understanding the underlying dynamics as well as noisy and changing environments, this is truly useful improvement. As an example, the shown picture represents features extracted by a convolutional layer trained on image data. It looks like the network figures out features like edges, dodge and polygons. A selected deep learner in this project, the convolutional neural network, shall be introduced quickly. A convolutional neural network consists of different layers, each having specialized functions in this processing pipeline. A fairly simple network is shown as an example. It consists of an input layer, usually represented as an array of numerical data, that gets kind of compressed by a convolutional layer. This layer is crucial because it has a function of extracting the feature that describes the input best. Mathematically, it combines the mathematical function of convolution with weight sharing. However, the mathematical details of this process are beyond the scope of this presentation and I refer at this point to relevant literature. In this example, the output of the convolutional layer goes into a fully connected layer that is identical to structures used in traditional neural networks. Finally, a softmax layer transforms the signals into a classification output. Convolutional neural networks are usually trained with standard backpropagation. Although this example is a quite small network, more practical designs consist of great plenty of different layers. As an example, the winner of the ImageNet Large Scale Visual Recognition Competition in 2014, called GoogleNet, consists of 22 different layers, including a wide range of different types like pooling and redo layers. That led to the question why deep learning can be probably useful in high frequency finance. Like an image contains all necessary information to identify a cup or a cat for a human, one of the assumptions in this project is that the order flow alone contains enough information to reflect market behavior in short term and thus can be used for short term predictions. That includes the assumption that market participants react not random and trade in specific patterns. Especially in an age of highly automated and algorithmic driven trading activity, a plausible assumption as I think. Besides that, market microstructure data fit the class very well where deep learning actually was able to improve current standards. Deep learning has proven to perform well in noisy and sequential data as for example speech recordings. In addition, the mechanisms behind different participants' behavior is not clear and therefore it is almost not possible to handcraft useful features. It will be interesting to see what kind of features the network is going to extract. Finally, as already shown, electronic markets produce a plethora of machine-readable data that are fairly easy to label and thus can be used to train such a learning structure. An important part of machine learning task is the design of input data. While deep learning lowers the cost of adequate input data design dramatically, it is still appropriate to have a meaningful idea behind. The actual forecasting task will be predicting the return or the volatility occurring after a defined time measured in events by a defined feature vector based on a set of prior events. However, the actual design is not finished yet and the final composition of incorporated variables is not fixed. Actually, this is one of the many hyperparameters that has to be optimized in such a task. The same also applied to the network design. Actually, this is one of the crucial tasks in deep learning and therefore a topic of plenty of research. Unfortunately, there is probably not enough time for optimizing the network structure heavily. With respect to the limit time, I will probably test some already successful applied structures like Linet or GoogleNet, even if these were designed for image data. Again, this depends heavily on training time and some other factors. Fortunately, by selecting CAFE as deep learning framework, switching between different models as well as the design process itself is fairly easy and requires almost no new implementation work. Being that in mind makes further research easier and faster. Besides the achievements already done in this project, it has to be mentioned that one disadvantage is underestimating the effort data handling and building an adequate test data set has required. In relation to that, it lacks time for optimizing the deep learning structure and additional hyperparameters. However, design of a proper network as well as tweaking all the parameters will be an interesting topic for further research. Finally, the network will be trained and tested in approved machine learning practice including stratification and out-of-sample testing. After, the outcome will be evaluated by widely accepted measurements including accuracy, kappa and recall respectively precision. In addition, two different variants, one including deletions and one excluding deletions, will be compared against each other. Doing so, the assumption of factoring in deletions as information source improves forecasting results will be validated. At date of recording, the project is almost two-thirds finished. 
that includes literature review, data preparation, order book reconstruction until implementation, the test environment for convolutional neural networks with CAFE framework. The documentation of this project was also half written during work. However, I still have to set up the trainings dataset as well as finally train, tweak and evaluate the networks. The plan is to finish this work within the next four weeks to have still some buffer for finishing, writing, corrections and proofreading. For any feedback or questions you got during this presentation, please drop me an email. I'm looking forward for a fruitful discussion about every aspect in this project. Thank you very much for listening to this presentation.